The robot you see on your screens is Leonardo. He can walk a slack line. He can skateboard. And the best part is, he cannot be knocked down. Yes, Leo carves out a new type of locomotion, somewhere between walking and flying. Researchers at Caltech have built a bipedal robot that combines walking with flying to create a new type of locomotion, making it exceptionally nimble and capable of complex movements. Part walking robot, part flying drone. The newly developed Leonardo, which is short for legs on board drone, is developed by a team at Caltech's Center for Autonomous Systems and Technologies. This is the first robot that uses multi-joint legs and propeller-based thrusters to achieve a fine degree of control over its balance. Leo stands 2.5 feet tall and is equipped with two legs that have three actuated joints along with four propeller thrusters mounted at an angle at the robot's shoulders. Leo is multifunctional. He can walk and fly. In flight, the robot uses its propellers alone and flies like a drone. One of the developers even says that Leo's design was inspired by a bird. Thinking about the way birds are able to flap and hop to navigate telephone lines, Leo is developed with the same principles. A complex yet intriguing behavior happens as birds move between walking and flying. The developers wanted to understand and learn from that. If seen closely, there is a similarity between how a human wearing a jet suit controls their legs and feet while landing and taking off and how Leo uses synchronized control of distributed propeller-based thrusters and leg joints. Leo's feather-light legs take stress off his thrusters by withstanding the bulk of the weight. But because the thrusters are controlled synchronously with leg joints, Leo has uncanny balance. Based on the types of obstacles it needs to traverse, Leo can choose to use either walking or flying or blend the two as needed. In addition, Leo is capable of performing unusual locomotion maneuvers that even in humans require a mastery of balance. The developers are planning to further Leo's performance by creating a more rigid leg design capable of supporting more of the robot's weight and increasing the thrust force of its propellers. In addition, Caltech hopes to make Leo more autonomous so that the robot can understand more than commands.